Welcome back to the channel. Today, we will be covering a simple approach to working out wind pressure on any normal building. How wind acts on a building is a complex matter but has been simplified, so, that a static wind load can be calculated for any normal structure. Many factors influence the calculated wind load, and these are geographical location, local topography, height, and size of the building, shape of the building. The basic data is the basic wind speed, V. This depends on the geographical location, and is obtained from a wind map. This wind speed is then modified, by published factors for the type of local topography. City, outskirts, open countryside. The height, wind speed increases with height, and the overall size of the building. The basic wind speed is multiplied by the factor to give the design wind speed. The wind pressure is then obtained from this equation, which equals 0.613 times design wind speed squared divided by 1000. So, the wind pressure is in kilonewton per meter squared. As the wind speed is in meters per second, and 0.613 is half the density of air in kilogram per meter cubed. This load is then applied to the building's surfaces after being multiplied by a pressure coefficient, that takes into account the shape of the building. The plus signs indicate that the wind is causing pressure on the element, and minus signs suction. Let's take a worked example on how to calculate the wind loads on a building. Here we have a 10 meters high building, with a pitched roof of 20 degrees. The basic wind speed from the wind map is 44 meters per second, and the building is on the outskirts of a city. Firstly, we need to work out the design wind speed. To work out the design wind speed, we need to identify S factor from the table. So, we can see, the S factor is 0.74 for 10 meters high building on the outskirts. Consequently, the design wind speed equals 0.74 times basic wind speed 44 meters per second, which equals 32.6 meters per second. As we mentioned earlier, the wind pressure equals 0.613 times design wind speed squared. Therefore, the wind pressure equals 0.613 times 32.6 squared divided by 1000, which equals 0.65 kN per meter squared. Now, we need to work out the loads on walls. We need to identify a pressure coefficient from the table for the windward side. We can see, it is a positive 0.7. This means that the windward side of the building is going to be subjected to a positive pressure meaning the wind is pressing against the wall. Therefore, the load on the windward side equals wind pressure 0.65, times the pressure coefficient 0.7. Hence, we get 0.46 wind load applied on the windward side. Now we need to identify a pressure coefficient from the table on the leeward side, we can see, it is a negative 0.3. Consequently, the leeward side's load equals wind pressure 0.65 times the pressure coefficient 0.3. So, we get negative 0.2 wind load on the leeward side. This means the leeward side is subjected to a negative pressure meaning the wind creates a suction force at the wall. The roof also is subjected to negative pressure since it has a relatively small inclination angle. As we can see, a pressure coefficient for a roof with a slope of 20 degrees windward is negative 0.7. Hence, the windward load equals wind pressure 0.65, times the pressure coefficient negative 0.7, therefore, we get negative 0.46 wind load on the windward. This means the windward is subjected to a negative pressure meaning the wind creates a suction force at the roof. A pressure coefficient for a leeward is negative 0.5. Hence, the leeward load equals wind pressure 0.65, times the pressure coefficient negative 0.5. Therefore, we get negative 0.33 wind load on the leeward. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.